there. Good to see you again. Hey, I'm just in the middle of making this fantastic wide mouth frog, which you can use to keep things in or to play flick a fly. Here's the fly. Give it a flick. Yes. Two points to me. <laughs> now, if you remember, this is where I got up to on Monday. So, if you want to try it yourself, you'll need to get hold of two clean chip boxes and put one inside the other. Roll up and tape a double sheet of newspaper to make a flattened sausage. Do another and tape these onto the back of the frog's body in a V-shape. Bend them over, under and squeeze to crease and tape into place for the back legs. Tape two smaller sausages of newspaper at the sides for front legs. Add newspaper eyes on top. Draw and cut out card feet and slot them into each leg. This creates your basic frog's body. So, OK, you have your frog shape. Now, to strengthen it, mix some PVA glue in equal parts with water. Yes, so the good old white school glue in the squidgy bottles. And the idea is to just slop it all over your frog, all over his back, his eyes, his legs, his feet, even down inside his mouth. And, yes, you've got it. You've seen me do this many times. Lay in some strips of loo roll or tissue paper or kitchen roll and just put them into the glue there and paste them down on into all those nooks and crannies and don't forget when you're going over the leg you have to put your glue on and then just wrap your tissue around into the glue like that and press it down into all those nooks and crannies and the idea is to cover the whole thing in two layers of the glue mixture and the tissue paper and when you've done that you'll have something that looks like that once it's dry it will have gone rock hard and it's now ready to paint and to paint it poster or acrylic paint a nice froggy green I think to start with and the idea is just just paint the whole thing a nice froggy green to start with but when it comes to the eyes just paint around the back of the eyes leave the front of the eyes white because you want nice white bright eyes and if you paint the whole thing leave it to dry and you'll have something that looks like that look at that don't worry it's not magic I've painted on some extra orange spots there and I've put in some extra eye detail. Just picked it all out with black felt tip pen. And you see, I've put a nice bright red mouth for his wide mouth. Now, for his loopy tongue, cut a ruler's length strip of red thin card or thick paper and make it pointed at one end like that. And then just roll it tightly around a pencil. Just wrap it around the pencil and roll it all the way up but leave the last quarter straight like that because when it doings out you've got this curly tongue and then just a bit of glue on the straight bit and just glue it into the mouth down there just firmly press it in hold it till it dries and there it is a wide mouth frog and you can use it to keep things in on your desk or your bedroom table just pop that lot in there or you can use him to play flick a fly now to make a fly take a thin white piece of paper now tracing paper is perfect for this and on it just draw two little wings around about the size of pennies like that cut those out so you have that sort of shape like that and for the fly's body scrunch up a small ball of tissue paper and dip it into your glue mixture all the way in shake off the excess just scrunch it all together like that and then the idea is to just pop your wings on top of that nice gluey ball like that and then just leave it to dry and when it's dry it's gone rock hard and then you just bend the wings up like that and there is your fly shape and you can paint them any color you like how's about zzz, a black fly or even a blue bottle or how about oh here is the big guys a bumblebee <laughs> and if you make a few of them you can challenge someone to a game of flick a fly yes Two points! <laughs> Try it yourself, a wide-mouthed frog.